Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial I will show you how to create electrical lighting plan in Revit LT. The concepts talked about here will also be applicable for full version of Revit, but you can do it in Revit LT. The electrical plan will include lights, switches, receptacles and uh, cable routes. This tutorial is not meant for electricians. I will not talk about junction boxes or voltages, powers or material takeoffs or schedules for electrical stuff. This is really meant for architectural purpose, for architects to show where the lights should be and how they should be switched on or off and also the receptacles. So let's get started with my project. It's a small spa. And when I take a look at the floor plan, it's this simple. And first things first, we will start with placing our lights. And we will place our lights in a reverse ceiling plan because they are on the ceiling. So here I will go to place a component. And although I've got some lights already loaded, I will load uh, a family and I will go to library, lighting, architectural, internal. And here is the basic library of lights. So let's say I will take, uh, I will take this one, downline resist, resist can. And because I'm in a um, reverse ceiling plan, I can already place these lights on the ceiling. So I will place one here, one here, one here, then one here, one here. And yep, let's also place them. Let's change to another one, which will be this one. And I will place it on face. So you have to be careful with lights. Some of them are ceiling hosted and some of them are face hosted. So there's no ceiling here outside. So I will just place them on face. This other family, I could not do that. Now here I will place a chandelier, which I already have uh, loaded in my family and I will also use, instead of clicking component, I use the shortcut CM and I will use this pendant light to place it here and rotate it 90 degrees. Now here I will place, a, I will load a wall lamp. I will place it here and another here. And also, we need to load some scones lamp above the basin. So I will place it here. So these are all of my lights. Now in the reverse ceiling plan, I will also place them properly. So uh, let's say this one, the chandelier, I want to have it in the middle of the room. So I will do it like this and then this and then I delete the, the dimensions because I don't want to have it constrained. It sometimes uh, creates problems. So let's do the same with these lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, like so and make it equal and also unconstrained. And also make them in the middle between these two walls. These are outside. Make it equal. And now align to this light and align this light. Lock it. Align from this light. Align this line, lock it. Align from uh, this light to this light, lock it. And the same. To the last one, lock it. So now when I move this one light, all of them move together. I will take two steps back because I want it to have in the middle. Now let's go to these, this, this light here. So I will dimension from the wall to the center to the wall, make it equal, delete and unconstrained. And now from this wall to the 
to the cabinet and again delete the constraint here the scones let's make it in the middle here and where's the equal sign it's here delete the constraint and this one let's place it like this again equal and let's place it like this equal and also these two i want to have them in the middle or yep constraint and align i'm using the shortcut al to align objects and here I want to align these two, so I will use the AL align shortcut. And here I will use dimension to make it like so. And again, align this light with this light. Let's say this is okay. And here I want to have these two also above the cabinet. But if I would make them equal, they are not properly placed. So I will use the trick that I copy CO. This is the shortcut. I copy this one. Now I use the, the dimensions, make them equal. Delete the dimensions, unconstrained, and then delete this one. And now they are placed properly as they should be. So we've placed all the lights, so let's close reverse ceiling plan and we are in our standard floor plan and let's make a duplicate of this view without detailing and let's rename it level one electrical lighting plan. Okay, so this is the first step. Now in the properties of the view, we can use, we can change the discipline in the graphics uh, group, the discipline from architectural to electrical. This works even in Revit LT. Now you can see that uh, most of the things like walls, furniture, etc. is shown with half tones. And you can see that our lighting fixtures are shown, shown in, uh, in true black. You can see that the plumbing fixtures are also black and I don't want to have that in my electrical plan. So I will go to visibility graphics or VV shortcut and I will go to plumbing fixtures and make it half tone. So this electrical discipline makes two things. It makes these things, uh, the walls and windows half tone and it also shows the lights even though they are on the ceiling. So in, the, in standard, standard plan view, they wouldn't be visible. But there's a little problem. I can see some of the lights, like these four, and I don't see these that I placed in my reverse ceiling plan here. Why is that? This is because if I take, if I create a, a section and I go to the section view, there are some limits of height where the where the lights are placed so now if i switch switch the direction so you will see it you can see that these lights here are a little bit lower than these two and so in my lighting plan only these two are visible so i will delete this section and how do i how do i adjust this I do this by going to view range here and you can see that the primary top range is offset from level 1 to 2300 millimeters and I will make it so it will be to level above and I will create offset 0 let's hit apply now you can see that all of my lights are visible. Now in my electrical plan, I like to have my lights in red color. So again, I will go to visibility graphics or VV shortcut and I will choose lighting fixtures and the lines. I will override them and I will override them to red. Okay, okay, okay. 
now you can see that all of the lights are red. So this is a good start. Now let's place some switches. So in architecture panel, I will place component, load a family. I will go up, up, up. And let's go to electrical, architectural, electrical power, distribute, oops, sorry, uh, terminals. And now I will use switch single. I will place it here and let's place one here. Let's place one here. Let's say, let's place one here. And now I will again load another family and I will use switch double. I will place that one here. And also let's, I will select this one, hit CS for create similar and I will place one here and one here a sim uh, simple switch single one so this is okay for the switches oh I need one more here so I will go CS create similar and place it here and now let's uh, let's load some outlets so uh, outlet single and I will place one here, let's place one here, and yeah, here there will be one. Here I will need a different outlet because it's close to the, close to the wash basin, so GFI. Let's place it, let's place it here. And yeah, one more create similar and let's place it here one here and one here now in my electrical plan i like to have switches and receptacles in different color i use magenta but since revit lt doesn't have view filters uh, i have to do it with a workaround and you can check this workaround in my tutorial which explains it all uh, it will be linked in the description box below but here I will just load uh, my families, which are a bit different. And I will use, I will overwrite all of the, all of the families, which I downloaded the default ones that I used. And here, now if I go to my lighting plan and I go to visibility graphics settings in annotation categories under the generic annotations I've got receptacle and the switch category which I created you can check out the tutorial that is linked below in the description box and I will set up the line color for these two subcategories to be magenta and now if I click OK voila you can see all of the switches and all of the receptacles are magenta so the last step for us is to create connections between switches and the lights and because in Revit LT we've got no MEP tools we will do this just by just by annotation just by using detail line so I use the detail line and the spline tool and I start here and I create like something like this and now I can adjust the spline so it has got some nice nice shape but I don't want these lines to be black so under manage additional settings and line styles I will create a new line style and I will name it electrical and let's make it let's make it a blue color and line pattern let's change it from solid to dash and I will pick this line and change it from thin line to electrical cabling now these lines look like this so i will again create annotation and now i will go from here to here 
say escape. Oops, I didn't select the proper line. And this is kind of tedious work. Uh, I use the shortcut detail line, DL, to create detail lines. So DL, change it to electrical cabling. Now I'm going to select this one. Here I will go from here to here. And I will not continue. I will hit escape. So the line ends here and I will start a new one like this up here and then hit escape again okay so again dl detail line from here to oops, detail line again select the spline from here to here hit escape and start now again from here to here hit escape start again to here Hit escape, start again, let's make it this way. If I didn't hit escape and continued, uh, you, could, you could see that the line doesn't end here and I want to have the end ending here. So I will delete it again and create a new one. And end up here, hit escape. No, it's not placed properly, but just so you know just to give for you to get the gist of it okay and this is how i continue with all of the all of the lines this one will be connected to up to here and again like this i will now skip this uh, skip how I do this. You don't want to see me doing this tedious work. So after a few minutes, my my cabling is done. So this is how I create architectural lighting, electrical plan with switches, with receptacles, with lights, and also with the schematics of how the lights should be operated. It's good that you can do it even in Revit LT, but for architects, this is also applicable for the full version of Revit. I recommend you to check out my tutorial on how to do workaround for not having view filters in Revit LT. This is how I how I uh, how I change the color of the receptacles and and switches, and I use this workaround for also if I want to have switches and uh, receptacles on a different layout. I hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, smash that like button and take care.